Hello, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Hanamore again. Uh, the teams. This was unranked draft. We were a 5 man stack, so again you'll see a lack of pings. Um, but we we did a rather different strategy. Uh, it, you notice we're all lining up top. And they are all lining up bottom. We are uh, not... This isn't a custom game. That's exactly how both teams decided to do this. We have Artanis, Gul'dan, Sonya, Savanas, and I'm on Alarak. They have Zagara, Zarya, Tassadar, Arthas, Brightwing. Five, four, uh, notice three, something unusual right off the bat. They don't have an assassin. One. Don't know why they drafted that way. We didn't draft a healer. Because we were going to do this strat. So, what we're going to do here is we're just going to push. Don't care about carts. Seems weird on a map where you can only win by carts. But, you know, we're going straight in for the push. Uh, the reason for this is because taking these buildings early, XP, and also shots later on. Notice we're actually about tied right now. We have the extra tower. We don't have that yet. They just got it. We have Savannah's, they have Azaria, so both teams have a way of pushing pretty quickly. It's just a matter of who gets it first. Without our healer though, and it's kind of weird because we don't actually have sustained the health bars. So any damage we take is just permanent. Who's in the best thing? There's the Zarya soaking in. They love this tower, which is going to stop their waves. They're going to lose out there. We left the well, so we're losing out some there. Savannah's has gotten really low now, as you can see. Really lucky they didn't have anyone up here to try to stop this. But they were. All pushing bot, so I guess it works out in the end. So we're slightly ahead at this point. They're not focusing as well as we are on which targets, which I don't think they were a 5 stack, which is part of the reason for that. We get that, start backing right away. Uh, basically, we think we can make it in time to stop them getting this, gives us a, a huge advantage. Uh, in both XP, as you notice, we're a whole level, but it also gives us an advantage in the fact that we can kill them. Didn't quite make it in time to stop that. I actually just one shot at my quest there. Um, which is big, because now I have slows, I have a extra damage, extra range. Zagar is kind of stuck out here. She goes down. I don't even think we catch this... I don't think we catch the test right here, huh? Really well done on his part, I guess. Here's Zarya. But we have a, we have a bunch of Pokemon over the wall. I almost kill her there. Uh, at this point, that's awkward. Uh, we're just we're just pushing. We're, notice we're not even rotating to the cart yet. We don't care about it. We know we can out damage them here because we have nothing but damage on our entire team. I tanked out with the tower shots. Brewing got it. And that healing token did nothing for them. Because we just killed three of them anyways. And we just keep pushing. Just keep pushing. Well, Bam's not gonna have an issue with sustain. You know, if they're not damaging her, Savas isn't gonna have an issue. Or Tannis isn't, because once he's at a certain level, he just gets his shields. Basically, this is all this, you know, all this is just fighting after fighting in this lane. If you lose Gul'dan, we didn't get the building, it's pretty sad. I also went, because of this strat that we're doing, we're basically, we're always going to be 5 manning. Uh, I also went the negative blue charge, because if all we're going to be doing is in a big group, then uh, having that extra poke damage to the people is really important. And at 7, I went for uh, Reach Farther and more of a range, which is like the old level 1 talent. So we go here and look at the other choices here. Um, didn't really need more silence duration, because it's not really like, doing much for us. Uh, they don't have like a Chen or anything. Um, and didn't really feel like we needed to slow either, as we had the Sonya Artanis. And everything else to uh, keep them. 
We do decide to defend here, like we're not even worried about pushing the moment. Because all we're doing here is stopping them while Sylvanas takes the building. We go in. I missed. There's one and two. We get our first when Zagar goes. So pretty even on the fight there, considering the fact that actually Savannah's died bot and not even top of us. It turns out really even that we were able to win that. An adventure. Uh, we're actually ahead in, in levels. We're just trying to get out of here at this point. Basically at this point it's just the call that he's probably going down. But we do get him out. They didn't commit for him. They go back to pushing the uh, the top cart. And because I've already died twice, I do take up counter strike here. Just for the extra sustain and uh, protection for a lot of damage. And we immediately just go right back to pushing. Uh, we know at least one of them is top. We're only down one. We have Savannah's to push. There's four here. Which means they're missing Tester, so we can see the top. There's the fear. We get Zagara. Duff was amazing on Blin. He uh, he fell in love with that character when he was released. And he's been using him even before. <laughs> he, he he used Gul he played Gul'dan before this school, you know. Hipster Gul'dan player. He probably hit that description. Vet is a little bit newer to Artanis. Um, I don't. She plays Sony a lot. She was on my cheerleading league team recently. Well, the team I was on, it wasn't I wasn't captain. She played with Sonya a lot. That so she has a lot of experience with Sonya. I liked all the rec before the rework. I was just kind of waiting for that talent rework. We've been talking about it for months. Like that's what he needs. He's good by design. He just needs a talent rework to make him viable. I don't know that what that was about. That was a little weird. Uh, so I've I had experience with all rec, and I was just I still was getting used to him. I mean, I could have gone for this. I know a lot of people like that one. Uh, and because if you do the math, if you instantly complete the quest and you have full sadism, it's an extra 360 damage, which is basically another ability on your Q. And so it, I mean, how much damage my Q do right now? 270, so it's more than doubling the damage I have. Since we have all the buildings, we go ahead and start pushing now. Uh, we decided to five man top first. And so, if, because we saw Zarya was down here, we decided to uh, focus top before we did but It really doesn't matter the order because at this point they're both up and they're both about halfway. But we do decide to stick as a five man if it's important because then we can take more fights that way. And our team hump was designed to be able to five man all game and you should have all good seconds off and took it here. Of course there was the mall. Um uh, like right when we get out. Tests are doing tests sort of things. Zarya trying to help. Zagar goes down to Sonya. Arthas comes in. Don't know why he decided to come back in. Um, three for one. Yeah, I'll take that trade. Three for two. Still a good trade in our favor. And we got the turn in. And that was five shots on core. Or, yeah, five shots on core from one cart, which is just ridiculous. Because this brings them down to one health. And then all we have to do is wait two minutes and we win the game. If we can push that last card in. At 13 here, I do you believe they go right. I know right is what most people pick. And I know Blade of the High Lower is the other one. Uh, Pure Malice is just a way of saying, hey team, I think you're trash. Or we have a Murky or a Lost Viking just dying a bunch. Uh, and I just want that extra damage. I do go right here. I think it was my first time using right, so it I didn't use it super effectively. They're getting to one health. Uh, we could boss, 
but boss is just a giant throw pit on this map. We said to meet up at our health camp. Uh, so that's where we all meet. There's nothing to push. There's nothing to do now. The enemy's payload will be redeployed. Besides, delay them when we throw payload. Uh, without them taking these towers, they don't really have a chance. Even if they took them, that still only drops us down to one health and it ties us up. Because they're at one health, they can't risk not doing anything. And they're behind XP. Pick up that camp as well. Division. We did give uh, Gul'dan our healing zone, which I really like because he's using his own health uh, to replace his mana. And so giving him that means that he's got that sustain that he can just use whenever he needs it. Another fantastic fear. I don't know if I've seen a bad fear from him. Unless the opponents like dash at the last second. You know, and change the place again. We decided to push because one of the ways we could win is if we could push this in. <laughs> Instead of waiting for a cart. And because four of them are down, they only have Zara. And we figure out you can actually walk into this area. As weird as it seems. I do put my right on her just in case she And it was funny little swap there. Yeah, but we do end up winning by pushing that in, which is really weird, because it's not something I've ever seen anyone ever do before. I just thought this game, with the strategy that we used and the way it turned out, they were also using a similar strategy. I thought it was really interesting and worth sharing. Uh, Gul'dan, of course, gets MVP, hero damage, XP contribution. Uh, I, I got silence time, 31 seconds, which isn't that impressive. Um, look at the stats here. Can I check that out? I died the most on the team. Uh, but that was uh, the game. Thanks for watching.